Hi, and welcome to Synergy's how-to series. In this tutorial, we will go over how to view clips in the Synergy Softball app and send clips to the Synergy editor. This process is the same on a PC and a Mac. To view clips in the Synergy Softball app, once you have created a report, select either Player to send clips to the in-app video player, Editor to send clips to the Synergy editor, or Compare to view clips side-by-side -side in the in-app player from the options at the top left of the application window. We will go over the Compare feature in more detail in another video. Click the Play button above the chart display to launch the video. You can send all clips, or individually select the clips you want to send by holding down the Control key and clicking on the specific clip or clips you want on the chart display. Select a group of clips by clicking and dragging to select an area on the chart display. Additionally, selecting a row in the data chart below allows you to view the associated clips. The clip count will appear to the left of the play icon. The player option uses the app's built-in video player. This is active by default. When viewing video in player mode, you can also send playlists to the Synergy editor. This is done by selecting the down arrow icon in the player window. The editor option sends playlists directly to the Synergy editor, where you can create custom edits, trim clips, and review video. You can also switch to the side-by-side -side player by selecting Compare at the bottom of the player. The in-app video player contains a variety of controls to make the most of your experience. In the upper left, clicking on the return arrow returns you to the Synergy Softball app from the in-app player. Click Full At Bat to expand the full at bat data associated with the current clip or set of clips you're viewing. Click again to return to playlist view. Toggle to see the selected clips as a list view or see them charted. Adjust the clip duration by using the drop-down to choose between Standard or Extended, which will play all the available video between pitches. Use the Pitch Release Time to set the time in the clip prior to the release of the pitch using the drop-down menu. The default is 3 seconds. Located to the left of the camera icon, select Camera Angle Names to view a different angle when available. Select Detailed Pitch Info to include pitch type and pitch velocities when available. The video player controls include play pause, jump to beginning of clip, previous clip, back one frame, the playhead scrubber, forward one frame, next clip, jump to the end of clip, send clips to the editor, or enter full screen. The stopwatch feature allows you to define an area within the clip. Use the in button to set a start point and the out button to set a stop point. The timekeeper to the right will show you the length of your selected clip. You can adjust the set points by clicking and dragging the pins above the playback scrubber. To remove the set points, click the in or out buttons again or click the refresh button next to the timekeeper. We hope that we've answered any questions you